Hi everyone, it's Sarfa Johns. Uh, I'm going to do a compilation of all of my territory war battles from this last territory war where we pretty much smashed them to smithereens. Um, so here we go. Uh, just jump right into it. This is a nest solo of a bug squad. Um, it's going to be, unfortunately, um, kind of a long one. Nest solos, generally, you just put it on auto and pray. Um, Spy is capable of taking Nest out with one shot um, with his special. And so, you know, if the ti if you get the timing wrong and it's really just RNG, there's no, like, skill involved. Um, it's just RNG whether, you know, you have bad timing and Spy can take you out when Ness doesn't have a ton of protection up. So, um, really, like I said, there's no skill. You can see I just put it on auto right there. These battles tend to um, take a long time. And if you try to do them manually, uh, typically you'll time out. And so, um, usually I'll you know, do the first, do the first move of the battle and then just put it on auto and let Ness do her thing. It takes a long time. They are thick. Um, you know, you, um, GBA can heal and obviously, you know, they have the sharing the health pool, the redistribution of all of their health and protection. So, um, it's just annoying. And you can see, even though my nest has something like 141% tenacity, she still is constantly being ability blocked by Poggle. So that doesn't help because it means she can't use her AoE, which is obviously the best tool that you have against bug squads. So, um, so you know. It's just a long grind to get through everybody, and it's never a sure thing. It's always kind of a nail biter. Um, you know whether Spy is going to get a lucky shot in or not. So you know you can see we're almost halfway done with the battle. They're all still in the green. Um, <laughs> Brute is still up. You know it's it. These battles tend to be very ugly until suddenly you win over the course of, you know, 20 seconds. So it's like, you know, four minutes of nail biting, what's gonna happen, and then 20 seconds of, oh, and now they're all dead. <laughs> so, there we go, one's down. You can see now, um, Groot is down, two down. So you can see, like, there we go, Poggle's out, so no more ability block. Spy is gone, so there's no risk, really. Um, here we go. It's over. All right. There it was. So it took four minutes or something like that. So that's the first one. Uh, next, we have... OG Kylo Solo of Old Republic. Oops, sorry about that. All right. So um, these are also kind of um, nerve-wracking because OG Kylo ends up taking tons of damage, and you're like, oh, man, is he going to survive? What's going on? But, um, you know, he sticks it out in the end. He gets he boosted offense and defense whenever he takes damage until the beginning until the uh, his next turn, um, and with all of the dots on him, you know you can see he's already like down out of full health and no more protection, um, and I haven't killed anybody. They're all still in the green, so it's like oh no, are we gonna win? But then you know with the boosted offense he just ends up one shotting everyone once you get through Zalbar who tends to be very thick. There we go. So Zalbar's gone, so now we're just going to start, you know, killing people. I had a blind up. So when when um mission blinds me, I tend to use his AoE because um 
whatever else, you know, whatever I do is going to miss anyway, and the AoE at least beats a little turn meter, so um, I get something from it. You can see now it went from being what's going to happen to uh, pretty much they're all dead at this point. So, yeah, once mission's gone, there's no, there's no real damage dealers left, so... Here we go. All right. And then moving on to the next one. Uh, this is my Empire Squad. I don't remember who. Oh. All right. Never mind. <laughs> Let me delete that video. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Bounty Hunters. Um, so this is my Bounty Hunter attack squad against a uh, Relic Bosk. Um, bounty Hunter squad. And you can see I have four Bounty Hunters who all start in stealth, and then I bring Stormtrooper on. And so he ends up being the tank. And typically he'll die. I think he actually survives this one. Um, but typically he'll die, but it doesn't matter. As long as I stay in stealth long enough to trigger the contract, which you can see, I think I'm at 90% already. Yeah, 90%, so I'm about to trigger it right now. All right, so the contract is triggered. So now it's all downhill from them, you know. Um, Aura does tons of damage when I use her um, special. Unfortunately, because Dengar's there, she can't stealth, so that limits her damage a little bit because she does extra damage from stealth. So, all right. Oh, Bosk, I'm sorry. Too bad for you. Um, so. Yeah, that was Dengar messing up her special there. But anyway. And you can see with Grief adding retribution to everybody, they just go to town whenever they get attacked and typically will kill somebody after that, so, or because of that, so. Um. Second disintegrate from Mando. Yeah, now it's down to Dengar and his toast. This is over. Stormtrooper Han shockingly is still alive. There we go. And you can see here which squad I attacked, I think. There, so it is a Relic Bosk and a Relic Boba, I think, and the other ones were all gear 12. All right, now I've got my Empire against another Bounty Hunter squad. Unfortunately, my Vader has no relics, so he's wimpy. <laughs> Although he's, I mean, sorry, he has no Zetas. He's relic, um, but he has no Zetas, so he's very wimpy as Vader's go. I really need to get some Zetas on him, but um, I just have lots of other Zetas to do at the same time. So, um, this team, if I remember correctly, this Bosk was really slow. So he actually never really gets a taunt up between Fracture and Fracture from Thrawn and Help Stuns. You know, he just never got a taunt up, and then we just go through and, you know, pick off the whole team, basically.
Yeah. It's no contest here. I think this was a full... I can't remember if it was a full relic. No, that guy's geared 12, so it wasn't full relic. But it was pretty close, I think. It was the highest level bounty hunter squad that was left by the time I, you know, decided to take these guys in. fitting to finish it with a pulling blade. There we go, 20 banners. Uh, no, I guess it was just one relic boss. All right. Um, another bounty. I went to town on the bounty hunters, apparently. Um, so you can see I'm using like a weird Seppi Night Sister squad. Daka actually does tons of work here, reviving people a bunch. This actually this team worked very well. Um surprisingly well. So um I may keep it in mind for the future. I think Asaj is only like gear nine or something, so you can see she doesn't really have very much health or protection, so um Newt. I think I try to revive him here. Do I? Me reading the... <laughs> you can tell how frequently I use Night Sisters. Um, reading her kit in the middle of the battle. There's just so many stuns with Daka, that's the other thing, besides the revive that she brings. She also stuns on her basic, and Dooku stuns on his basic, and Grievous has a stun on his special two. Um, and so, between that and then extortion, um, you know, you put extortion on somebody and then you stun them, and then it guarantees that the extortion spreads under a new lead, and... It's just nasty. It actually, like I said, it worked surprisingly well. I was sort of pleasantly surprised at how well this team performed. Um, Grievous is the only one that's reliced in this whole squad. Um, Dooku's gear 12. Newt is gear 12. Um, Asajj, like I said, is gear 9. And Daka is... I forget. Either gear 11 or gear 12. Um, maybe this was the full relic bounty hunters. Yeah, Embo's relic definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cat is relic. So maybe this was the full relic bounty hunter squad. And again, the only one relic on my side is Grievous. So it really 
worked remarkably well. And, you know, Asajj revived, not Asajj, Daka revived Newt, so we're all back to full, full team of five. Very thick. Oh, this was where. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you guys sit through this. The game hung basically here for like a couple minutes. And then eventually I had to quit out of the game and I wasn't sure what was gonna happen, but it gave me the victory anyway. So um, I lucked out. I'm not really sure what happened here. Um, but anyway, like I said, I won't make you sit through it. Um, on to the next one, my murder bears. Um, I used to clean up a Basti Jedi squad I actually, um, I'm not sure if you will want us to do this either, but um, I actually, what I end up doing here is just killing off Bastilla and then letting it time out so that Jolie doesn't revive her. And that way the next person coming in to clean it up, um, Bastilla is not there, so there's no leader ability. Um, so they don't get the bonus protection and they don't get the damage and, you know, all of that stuff that she brings, the tenacity that she brings with her leader ability. Um, so it's actually like, a, like you know, as far as I'm concerned, it was a good use of my Ewoks because they're not really going to do much work anyway. But if I could use them to take out Bastilla um, and make, you know, the next person's job that much easier, um, then uh, it's, it's, you know, it's a team well spent. You can see me, like, reading the kits here because I've <laughs> never used Ewoks before. <laughs> so I have no idea what any of these abilities do. Um, so apologies in advance that it's slow and annoying to watch. Um, but um, anyway, so you can see, I for a while I was focusing on um jihani because she had um taunt but now she's under stealth so now i can get at bastilla um and you know there's not <laughs> reading the kit again um so uh you know they all do no damage individually i also don't have chief chief chirpa zeta on these guys yet so they're not automatically assisting each other all the time which is what his zeta would let them do and so it's really like slow going it's like chipping away you know a couple thousand at a time um i'm actually surprised frankly that i was able to kill her but um i made it so feel free to jump ahead if you don't want to watch um how slow this is um and I won't, obviously, I'll, I'll stop once she's dead and I'm letting it time out. I won't um, just make you guys sit through the, <laughs> the clock running down. Um, I think Paplu is gear 12. Um, Elder is gear 11. And then Wicked and Chirpa are gear... No, Wicked is gear 9, Chirpa is gear... No. Yeah, Wicked is gear 9, Chirpa is gear 9, and... Uh, who am I missing? Uh, I forget his name. Um, the guy in the back um, with the mask. He is... Um, I think gear 11 or 10. Maybe he's gear 10. 
Um, so you can see I just took out Bastilla and, you know, now I'm just going to let the clock wind down. But so that's that. Moving on. All right. Fleet battles. Um, this is a mostly an Empire fleet, I think, if I recall. Um, it had vi relatively high GP. It was the highest GP fleet in that first um, in that first fleet territory. Um, so that's why I brought my finalizer against it, and I'm I just destroy them. Um, yeah, finalizer is against like any fleet other than malevolence or. Um, malevolence or negotiator, you know, finalizer pretty much just destroys them. I have had small amount of difficulty with a rebel fleet if I can't immediately stun Millennium Falcon, which normally I can do with crew, and I get two chances at it because of crew and special forces TIE fighter. Um, which grants an assist, so I can have crew assist. So crew gets one shot at it, and if he doesn't stun, then special forces tie fighter gets a second shot at it. But if I don't, if I miss both stuns, then rebel fleets typically will cause me some problems. But it's very rare. 161,000 crit. I mean, it's just easy. So um, next fleet battle. I managed to win three fleet battles this time, which is the first for me because my all my fleets except my finalizer fleet just suck. So I'm sort of shocked that um, I was able to beat anything except the first one. Um, so this was a relatively weak. Geo fleet. Um, they weren't relic, if I recall correctly. I think they were all actually purple gear levels, which is why I decided to try to take them. Um, if they had been relic, there's just no way they would have totally destroyed me. But um, it, they were relatively weak, and so I was like, ah, let me give it a try. Um, So you can see me not hitting Sunfac as much as possible um, because he had the breach on him, which is what enables the um, Houndstooth to keep Taunt up longer. Um, so generally speaking, just good tip for Houndstooth, you want to use Houndstooth special um, taunting special on the ship that you think you're going to kill last. Um, and then that way, if you get the breach, the breach sticks around for as long as possible, and then Houndstooth can keep the taunt up as long as possible. Um, all right, next one. Um, my crappy light side fleet. Again, it's against sort of an underpowered um, dark side fleet. I guess no sound on this one. Sorry, guys. Um, I did a better job this time of um, giving you all game sound, but not <laughs> not for this one. Um, I think I was hoping the AOE would kill crew on that one, and it didn't, so he got an extra turn off, but it ends up not not mattering. And yeah, in this case, I think my, I think Ahsoka and um, Eben Hawk are both seven stars. JKA is six stars. JKA is gear 12. Ahsoka is gear 11, I think. Um, this is a really, really weak boss because I'm like 
cutting, even with the houndstooth protection up, I'm still cutting it through his health with my ships. So I think it was a, you know, must have been a purple gear bosk or something um, that would not have worked with any more substantial fleet. All right, this is the one battle I lost. I brought some first order leftovers in against a very weak, I think it was a JKR squad, if I remember correctly. Um, yes, and it was, I think JKR was, um, was relict, but everybody else was not relict. Um, and so I figured, you know, this is a full relic first order leftover squad, obviously. So I figured I'd give it a try and it did not go well. So this was the one battle that I lost in this territory war. Um, it was bad. <laughs> So I managed to kill Yoda, so that triggered Savior right there. So I killed Yoda once, and now, you know, I'm going to try to go for a Jolie, um, but I'm not going to get anywhere close to killing him. Um, you know, right about here, I'm like, yeah, this is not going so well. Um, and I don't remember why I turned silent mode on. Yeah, so I'm saying that's done. So that was it. Um, next one, I don't remember what this is. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is the last one. So I came in really late um, after we had smashed through like a whole bunch of really weak territories. This was the last territory left. And this was a relatively weak first order crew squad. And so, and I hadn't yet used Darth Revan. So I brought Darth Revan. <laughs> and HKN as a duo and you know that was it so anyway that was it um I hope you enjoyed it it was fun it was a fun territory war they did not put up much of a fight so full clear is always nice and we just smashed everybody um and that's it so um hope you enjoyed it have a good one talk to you later bye